On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does that have to do with us? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. You may not know this, but it wasn't just bad hospitality for the groom to run out of wine on his wedding day. That's not what this is about. Oh, they ran out of wine, let's get some wine. Let's be clear. It was illegal to run out of wine on your wedding day. Mary knows this and is super concerned because this could turn from a great day to a very terrible day, just like that. But Jesus' response isn't what you would expect from a savior. Verse three, when the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, what does this have to do with us? My hour has not yet come. Wine represented joy. Personally, I like to think of Jesus saying to his mother, like, I'm the wine. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm the wine. My time and my time hasn't come, so this doesn't have anything to do with me. I like to think that he's being facetious in that manner. Personally, if you read the book of John and read the synoptic gospels, it seems as though Jesus is often hesitant to perform miracles. Like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to do this. Let's jump over to Matthew chapter 15, verse. 22. And the Canaanite woman from that region came out and began to cry out, saying, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is cruelly demon possessed. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and implored him, saying, Send her away, because she keeps shouting at us. But he answered and said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and began to bow down before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she said, Yes, Lord, but even the dogs feed on the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, O woman, your faith is great. It shall be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed at once. What's happening in John chapter 2 is no different. Jesus wants to see faith. We all know the old adage, which is actually scripture. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. I love Mary's response. Knowing that Mary has known Jesus his whole earthly life. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. She she knew the child for 30 some odd years. 